Hey, my name's Mitch, and I'm going to be demonstrating New York City Bike, my entry into the Build on Redis hackathon. What I've got here is a geospatial index of over 58 million bike share trips that have occurred across New York City. I've taken all of that data and loaded it into Redis Graph, which allows me to do some lightning fast queries that visualize some very interesting sort of traffic patterns that occur around the network, and make this cool interactive UI that I'd love to show you. A quick bit of background, City Bike is the public bike share system in New York. And what's really cool is they publish all of their trip data online. So you can download every single one of those 58 million trips and visualize it or analyze it however you want. You know, just have a bit of fun. And that's pretty much what I've done here. I've loaded all that into to Redis Graph. And how you sort of, you know, can think about all these trips as a graph, you know, is there's there's a source and a destination for each trip. And on my graph, there are the nodes, and then the trip occurs on the edge between those nodes. Since we're talking geospatial here, the other really cool thing is that I've got a geospatial index on all of the nodes in my graph. This is a brand new feature. I think it's Redis Graph uh, version 2.4. And with that, it allows me to do some really lightning fast queries that, you know, if I was just using, you know, just like more traditional indexing key value or something, you know, would be there's far too much data here to try and churn through all of that. And the, the geospatial index in Redis Graph is just a joy to use. So what are we actually looking at here? Well, I've got this blue circle and this red circle. And I present the flow of traffic of, of bikes that depart the blue circle and end in the red circle, circle and vice versa. So in this example here, the blue circle is Lower East Side, or I guess a relatively residential area. And the red circle is Midtown, where you know, there's lots of office buildings. So not surprisingly, we see this spike in the morning of people departing the blue circle and ending at the red circle, and vice versa around 5 to 6 p.m., people leaving uh, their office. Um, I guess not surprisingly, on the weekend, there's less traffic to Midtown, um, just people aren't going there. And you know, you might ask, well, where are people going instead? So I can just grab this red circle and drag it somewhere else. You know, let's go check City uh, Central Park. And not surprisingly, relatively speaking, bam, uh, 142 milliseconds, we can see that there's much more people going to Central Park on the weekend instead of the weekdays. You know, makes sense, I guess. Um, it's a really interactive UI. You know, you can grab all these circles, you can zoom in and out. It's super lightning fast. Um, you know, I can even zoom in onto like an individual dock, right? So that's just covering one dock, or I move it here, it's covering no docks, so you see nothing. So it's a lot of fun to like discover traffic patterns and see things that you might not expect. Um, it's online, a live demo, so please like come have a play. Uh, tell me what you think. I'd, I'd really love to, um, you know, see see what cool patterns you can you can find. Um, I've got a bit more time, so why don't I show you some of the code? Um, here it is on GitHub. Uh, as I was mentioning, I'm using Redis Graph, and I use that through the Redis mode uh, Docker image, and I provide this Docker Compose file so you can run all this on your local workstation. You know, tell me what you think. Um, the back end is written in Go, and I use the Redis Graph Go library. Um, because the geospatial stuff was so new, it actually, this point type wasn't supported in the library. So I sent a PR uh, to the team, and hopefully then you know, everyone will be able to use this really cool feature uh, in Go. To serve everything you saw on the front end, I'm just using these uh, relatively simple uh, Cypher queries, but I guess the main one to talk about is the, the query that presents those, those graphs of all the journeys. So what have I got here? I've got, I'm trying to match all the trips that go between a source station and a destination station. And then I want to filter those trips. And how am I going to filter them? Well, I've got that great geospatial index, and I'm going to run this sort of distance query here. So, so what is this saying in this case? I'm looking for all the source stations where the distance uh, from, from the center of the circle is within the radius of the circle. So recall we've got these circles, and then that's going to cover all of the stations that are within that source circle. I've got the same thing for the destination circle, and then you can imagine this query is going to filter to sort of that cross product of trips between the source and destination stations. I then have some aggregations of some of the metadata which are on those trip edges, and that's what shows those really cool visualizations I've got. So, you know, thanks for listening. Please go give it a try, and thank you for your time.